It's a new day, yes it is, and it's time for me to shower some amazing news because a lot has happened this past week. More and more new games are being announced as 2019 is coming to an end and there's still so many games that I have to play before I can play the new games. Oh, I hope you can understand my feeling, it's insane. But let's go on with the first news, Path of Exile 2 was announced in Exile Con, which to be honest looks amazing and I cannot wait to play that game. But it's not a separate game, rather it's an expansion that overhauls the base game. This is good, I like how developers are just ditching sequels and then making an expansion and then also calling it a sequel, so it's so confusing. Path of Exile 2 will add a new 7th act story that takes place 20 years after the end of the current game. It will overhaul many of the game's core system and rework the mechanics of each of the game's 7 character classes. Path of Exile 2 characters will use the same class archetypes as those of the original game, but you will have to create a new one in order to play the new story. You can select from 19 new ascendancy classes that differ from the old ones which will still be available in the original Path of Exile campaign. Path of Exile 2 introduces the new generation of Path of Exile's iconic skill system. Support gems are now socketed directly into the skill gems, removing many of the frustration present in the old system while maintaining all previous depth. The entire progression of armor and weapons has been redone from start to finish and it's also getting a visual rework with physics based rendering and all of your cosmetic will be moving over to the game as if it's in the same ecosystem. Wretched malevolence lurks in the, shadows. the game looks really good and you can see how the visuals have changed from Path of Exile, the base game. It will take some time before fans can get their hands on this game because Grinding Gear Games say that the beta testing won't be out until late next year, which means the game might be coming out around mid-2021 maybe? Who knows? <sighs> Back to red, because it's way too hot here. EXO19 showcased a hell lot of games with a new cute little game, a new game made from the same devs who made Life is Strange, oh and I almost forgot, Age of Empires 4 is finally here! The veteran and the most craziest real-time strategy game had a sequel cooking up for a long time and Microsoft finally pulled the covers off to show how the gameplay would look like and this game looks like a true successor to Age of Empires 2 with action pack medieval warfare and city building. Oh gosh, I remember my uncle used to play a hell lot more of Age of Empires 2 and I couldn't understand anything because I was a kid and I did not know how RTS game work. This game looks beautiful with battles taking on a larger scale. The trailer also showed some civilizations that will be playable in the game, that being Mongols and English going head to head. The creative director explained that the veteran player should feel familiar with the English playstyle even with some changes as it's similar to that of Britons, but Mongols on the other hand will not play anything like English. Now another interesting thing is that the music which is being composed for Age of Empires 4 is the same guy who composed the music of Witcher 3, which means the music is gonna be top notch. The game is being developed by Relic Games, the studio behind Company of Heroes, which is another epic game, but nothing has been revealed what the release date might be, but I guess looking at the trailer, it might not be that far away. Age of Empires is just such an iconic game and it was one of the most loved games back then and the first game that I heard of when I started playing video games was Age of Empires 2. Hell I also have a physical copy of Age of Empires 2, which doesn't work anymore, that's, that's sad. Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition is also available on Steam, which is a remaster to Age of Empires 2. How many of you are excited for Age of Empires 4? Let me know in the comments down below. BioWare, the guys behind Anthem, which is the most disappointing release of last year, are now planning to completely overhaul the game and it's enough of a do-over that people are calling it Anthem 2.0 or Anthem Next, which to be honest are pretty good names. The game launch was a big mess and all the future plans has been abandoned right now. And even the lead producer and the head of live services have left. It's just a big downfall for the studio and now they figured out to overhaul the entire game. It took them one full year to understand what they should do with Anthem. It's still very early days to point that Bioware and EA are still hammering out how it will be distributed through a series of updates, a major all at once expansion or even a new entire game. 
However, it's handled. The site said that most of its main systems, including the mission structure, loot, and game world, will change drastically. Despite the lack of concrete detail, what's significant right now is simply that EA and BioWare apparently aren't washing their hands off for this whole thing. Anthem needs a lot of work, and there's no guarantee that people will return, even if it's completely modified to a proper shape. But large-scale turnarounds are possible. For example, Destiny 2, which took two years to come to its feet. Or most important example, No Man's Sky, which was so terrible when it was launched, but now it has been better and it is what the game should have been when it was supposed to release. Anthem was supposed to be a very good game and even though it didn't work the way people wanted it to be, maybe right now the devs can change that and make it the game that it should be. Right now reports are saying that Bioware is still working on Dragon Age 4 and surprisingly a new Mass Effect game is in development. Under the direction of Mike Gamble who worked on Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2. Ooh, I just hope that it's not like that. Are you a fan of Jurassic Park? Wait, why is that a question? Well, you can visit the original Jurassic Park in this DLC of Jurassic World Evolution. Are you a fan of Jurassic World? Now that's a good question. An upcoming expansion for Jurassic World Evolution will allow you to return to the original Jurassic Park and get to work repairing the attraction that started it all. Frontier Developments has announced return to Jurassic Park and it looks like it's going all in on recapturing the original film. I think it's obvious, in a game like Jurassic World, you have to have Jurassic Park. But seriously, by just going through the trailer, it actually gave me goosebumps, I cannot control. However, this DLC is set in the immediate aftermath of the events portrayed in the movie and that's a point that, from a park management standpoint at least, presents a rather serious challenge. You will have help setting things up back in order though. Joining Dr. Ian Malcolm, voiced by Jeff Goldblum, are Ellie Sattler and Dr. Alan Grant with Laura Dunn and Sam Neill providing voice lines for the characters. This is what I'm talking about, bring back the original crew. Even Jurassic World themselves are doing that. Two new dinosaurs will be included in a DLC. Copsognathus, the little guy who hunt in large packs and overwhelm larger prey and Pteranodon, a flying reptile with 7 meter wingspan. Existing dinosaurs like T-Rex and Velociraptor will get a new skin to match their look with the original movie and they will be able to wreak havoc in buildings seen in the film like The Visitor Center and Aviary. Even though it's a way to bring people back to Jurassic World Evolution, can I just say it's actually working? <laughs> Return to Jurassic Park will be releasing on December 10th and maybe, just a maybe, I will be playing the game. Remember I talked about a cute little game that was showcased in EXO19? Well that game is called Grounded and it's made by Obsidian. Yeah, the same guys who made Outer Worlds and Fallout New Vegas. So this is an RPG then? Uh huh, no, it is actually a survival game, which is so rare nowadays. Even though there's so many survival games at this moment, this game is a little bit different because you are actually so small that ants are monsters for you. Finally, we are getting an Ant-Man game. This is a co-op survival game and the world is literally backyard and you get to have all type of survival mechanics like hunger and thirst and building shelters and even though all of this is still present in the survival games that are released before, there are some really cool things that might be interesting for you. As I mentioned, there is hunger and thirst meter and you will take damage of it if it completely gets depleted. But you cannot find a lake or a river to drink water. Instead, you look at the blades of grass, which for you will be giant trees. There will be a dew of water hanging on it, you know, because of early mornings. And you will have to punch it so that it falls down and you just open your mouth to drink it as it falls. This is so interesting and even the director has said that everything is interactable. Like all the grass, all the rocks, you can use them in crafting as well. There are hundreds of insects in this world. Ant will bring food and behave as an ant colony and bees search for pollen in flower beds. You can also attack an ant and then run towards the spider so that the spider and the ant can fight against themselves. The most ambitious promise of Grounded is that you will be able to affect the environment significantly and how those insects behave with you. As if one type of insect is trying to collect food and you take away those food items, those insects will start attacking you. So much more is to be explored in this game and it has grabbed my attention and the game is coming out on early access next year. And of course there will be a lot of comparisons with this game and all the other survival games. I guess we just have to wait and see how this game performs. 
And that's it guys for this episode of Top 5 Gaming News. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below about any of the news I just discussed. And also click on subscribe to Gamer Connect for more amazing videos just like this. Gamer Connect 2019 finale happens in Chennai in December 14th. So book yourself a ticket right now for free. Link in the description. Join Gamer Connect on Facebook and take part in various discussions and activities happening every single day. Also join Gamer Connect Discord which is an expansion to Gamer Connect community and be a part of GC Army. Thank you all for watching this video. This is me Gaming Manus and that was Gaming News.